Alright guys, this is Doc M. And yeah, as you all know guys, me and Anders lately were invited by Ubisoft for a trip to London and we were able to check out Assassin's Creed Black Flag for the whole day playing it on the PlayStation 4. If you want to see that, there's a vlog of course, I will put a link down in the video description. And yeah, today, yeah, we can release the footage actually because there was an NDA on there. Yeah, so... Here we go, um, we were able to play single player and also multiplayer. In single player we were actually able to play part of the story mission, but don't worry, um, there's not no spoilers in this video. Um, also Ubisoft asked for cutting out um, cutscenes and so on, so you guys don't have any spoilers, which I think is a pretty cool idea. So first, um, we were not able to do live commentary there because there were a lot of people in the room. I checked out the settings here a bit just to have a quick overview what is going on and yeah, what kind of settings you have. You can see it here in the background. It's pretty cool. We were also able to see the new HUD actually of the Sony PlayStation 4 but we are not allowed to show that it was also just a test version there. I believe not the finalized product but if it is uh, somewhat close to the finalized product it looked pretty sleek. So yeah, single player. Um, we were able to free roam in Havana. I also have some footage of that. And yeah, sequence 3 that was part of the story mission and yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so here we are on the check door, our epic pirate ship. She's actually pretty cool and throughout the game you can upgrade the ship more and more, better cannons, more crew, all kinds of things. And I've grabbed the wheel here and let's go. Um, you can always release the wheel in free roam. And yeah, this is the travel mode basically. You zoom out and then you can see where you're going and zoom in, check out other ships. And while doing that, you know, um, you can actually see what kind of ship that is and you can also see the loot this one for example holds for fire barrels and I'm trying to zoom in on the other ship there um, so yeah you can see different loot on different ships and that actually makes sense you can be a real pirate because you need a different loot to upgrade different functions of your ship or to reload uh, ammunition you can also buy ammunition but yeah for certain upgrades you need certain types of loot that encourages you to capture new ships and yeah we are roaming about you can see the mini map here um, everything is pretty fluent graphics were pretty cool looked nice and yeah we have to go to a little island and explore that first island um, it's really nice how things flow into each other um, there's no loading screens or something you can see that when we arrive over at the island and yeah we've been traveling for a little bit only 300 meters you can see also the indicator there and yeah you can see also the mission um, objective on the top left sail to Abaco Island yeah there's some ships in front of it uh -huh. and we might get involved in a little battle there sooner or later okay and you can also see here's loot you can pick up the loot you find didn't do that in this case it's also random loot you can also find passengers and yeah the crew size is also pretty important here yeah <laughs> we're trying to get it here and we grabbed up some loot, you see that? Metal X5. So yeah, we grabbed that and yeah, this loot, as I said, you can use to upgrade your ship. But also, um, there's a the crew, and the crew um, is important if you want to capture and yeah, raid other ships. That was a, a yeah, emergency stop, wanted to try that out. That's important for the sea battles. So yeah, this is the island. And there's two options, you can, um, if there is a dock, you can auto dock uh, or you can just leave your steering wheel, walk up to there, jump in the water and go over to the island. So I decided to go up a bit, it's nice with these hooks, and yeah, down in the water, ah, it's the way down again, so let's go. Graphics look pretty sweet if you look about. And we unlocked a new area and it shows you information about that. Could dive in the water and yeah, really fluently into the next area, which is the island then. And then can free roam a bit and try to yeah have special goals here. 
first of all we have to hunt a bit, iguanos and ocelots are running about. So yeah, and gives you some explanation here how to hunt and craft, which is pretty cool. You can also get items um, from these animals you hunt and then use that to upgrade your items, which is also pretty cool. If you free roam a bit on the island, you can find special locations, for example here the skeleton, old pirate who died here, and actually he was hiding a treasure map. Here you can find treasure maps that point you to special locations all around the world, which is actually a really really big world, the whole Caribbean and so on. It's really nice, uh, many places to explore, many things to do. You can also go shark hunting and do other things. And yeah, those maps point you to certain locations in the world. And yeah, you can find special loot and special rewards there. And here, this is how the maps look. And you can uh, actually see the location, the coordinates down there uh, in the right corner of this map. By killing animals and gathering loot and skinning them, um, you can actually upgrade your inventory and your uh, yeah, items you carry. Here you can see, for example, you need two iguana leather and then you can have a better pistol holster, which gives you certain advantages. And here we go. This is how the crafting works and this is how you will upgrade your character and equip better items. So after you leave the island, you get involved in a sea battle. And I have to say, uh, it's really nicely done. It depends in which direction you look, what kind of weaponry you will use. And yeah, here we gave him a full broadside. We were actually able to destroy uh, some of these ships. But yeah, later on in pirating missions, it actually makes sense to not destroy them, just disable them, make them immobile. And then you would conquer the ship and hijack it. And yeah, we um, also recorded some of that. We will uh, probably check out some of the hijacking footage as well which is also pretty cool because it's also a fluent transition and um, yeah basically right into from the sea battle into jumping over the ship with all the abilities you have in assassin's creed free roping and free running and all yeah so here you can see some of the fighting doing well at the moment and we're now on our way to our next mission goal to the first bigger city, which look really cool, and I yeah, I let you enjoy some of the footage here of the battle, dropping some barrels. It's really cool. It's it's fun to do the sea battles. I enjoyed that, and I think the pirate theme really goes well with the whole Assassin's Creed franchise there. Ooh, you can also lock on. We locked on right now. Missed most of our shots, or you can free aim, which is also cool. So yeah, we arrived at our first bigger settlement. This is Nassau on the Bahamas. It's a small little pirate nest. <laughs> really cool. And you can see the Union Jack up there. So yeah, it's owned by the British, which were competing with the Spanish people and the Portuguese and the French back in the days, the times of the pirates here in the Caribbean seas. And yeah, free roaming here a little bit in the settlement just want to check it out a bit and yeah I'll leave you with some footage so you can see for yourself how the game looks and feels and enjoy a bit of the atmosphere <laughs>
and part of the story mission here in Nassau was to free pirates um, from execution or save them from execution here by the armed forces and you can see some action here yeah we got this guy in the back with our blade and we got the other guy all right and yeah we recruited two more crew members and our goal here was to get at least 15 said so yeah, let's watch at some of the footage here when I was trying to free some pirates has decreed the sentence After freeing more pirates and thus gathering a crew to be able to sail on, you finally arrive in Havana here, which is yeah the biggest city I saw so far. Um, while we were able to capture here Black Flag, and yeah, I want to capture one of the Eagle Vision points. You know, want to climb up there and get a nice overview of the city. The graphics were really good, I have to say. We were sitting really close, you know, to these big TV screens, so yeah, it looked a bit blurry, but yeah, when I look at the footage now, it's captured in 1080p. I have to say, looked really crisp and clean, and I have to also say there was no bugs at all, no crashes and things, so um, it was running fluently, and yeah, a lot of small details here and there that were really impressive. The animations of the character, um, yeah, really well done. Whoops, I almost fell down. And we climb up on the ledge here and yeah, look around in Havana. So I guess I'll leave you again with some gameplay footage of me exploring the city. Enjoy!
only my cold, dead corpse will ever come to castle. <laughs> Escondido. ¡Rápido! ¡Puedo darle! ¡Caraca! ¡Un blanco claro! ¡Tengo tiro! ¡Es mío! ¡No escaparán! ¡Un blanco claro!
Ninguna ramera que se precie. ¿Alguna vez has tenido dos zorras en tu madera? ¿Llevas mucho con esta compañía?
Here you can see the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. This is basically your, your headquarters where you manage everything from. For example, you can access your own equipment for the character here. Or of course you can also upgrade your ship. And we want to look at that. It's over there. It's this little ship model. It's nicely done. You also have this map in the middle where you can manage your fleet. You can also capture ships, which is really interesting. And yeah, you can see some of the upgrades here. Um, some of them cost loot, you can see in the top portion of the screen the different loot items, I don't have anything at the moment, but yeah, some of the upgrades only cost money, you can see that at the top right of the screen. And there, for example here, ram strength, or round shot, and yeah, chain shot, which are the different types of shoot uh, shots you can use. You also have a mortar, and it's pretty interesting how it plays out. Um, with the upgrades. Um, I was having some sea battles and I felt I was um, already pretty powerful but I doubt um, that we really ran into powerful ships yet. Um, there's also a diving bell that is for underwater missions. Um, pretty interesting you can find treasures and so on in hidden um, underwater caves and, and similar things and uh, shipwrecks and stuff. And yeah um, here's some more of the storage you can upgrade. Also the crew quarters can be upgraded and that is interesting when you try to hijack ships and we should look at some of the footage um, while I was trying to hijack a ship as well. Here you can see rowboat and harpoon and so on. That is for shark hunting and I also captured some of that and yeah we'll also check that you footage. Have news. New Spain sails. Ready the whale boat, lads. Let's get started. That's right. Tire yourself out. He don't like that! <laughs> Success! Ha! You see that, lads? He's loose, Captain! Any sighting? Look out! Forward! Hold fast! This one's dangerous! Forward! Forward! to make this a profitable day.
Alright guys, and this is how it goes when you hijack a ship. We boarded it successfully and yeah, you collect some loot that you can then use to upgrade your ship. And yeah, in general, I had a lot of fun with the game. This is uh, most of the single player footage I was able to record. Some of the footage got corrupted. Um, I might be able to recover it. We will see. Um, what do I think about the game? I liked it. It was fun to play. It played well. Graphics were really, really good and gameplay well. If you like Assassin's Creed, um, you might like this one too. It's a really nice add-on with the pirates and all. I think it fits well. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. I'm out. Bye, guys.